Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, forever you, you are watching from. It's me, your girl, once again, fantastic Deba. I'm here, guys, to show you how I make my authentic egusi. So today, there's another client of mine that I want to make this egusi for. So I want to take you guys along step by step how I make my egusi soup. So this client of mine brought me goat meat to make this egusi for him. So I will be taking you guys along with the ingredients I'm about to put in. I've not put in anything inside as you can see. So let me show you to the rest of my ingredients in my kitchen. So guys, as you can see, I'm here in my kitchen. So this is the tomatoes I'll be using to to steal the egusi. This is already washed catfish and a dry fish. Okay, that is the egusi that I will be using already blend. Then this is the onions I want to use to season the goat meat. This is my maggi. You know the meat is more so you take as much as the quantity you are going to make. So this is crayfish. This is a lot of crayfish. Almost 10 year old crayfish is all you are seeing there. This is pepper. This is soft to taste. I'm not going to be finishing everything, but if if I need, I'll be adding to it. Then this is my native mango, which is called Ibarie in my dialect. I love it in my party soup. Okay. Then this is the tribe that I'll be using for it. So guys, as you can see, I'm in my balcony right now. I allow the meat to at least boil for about five to ten minutes so now you see i will put in my native mango which is called Ibarie, my dialect you see then i will let in my pepper okay i think that should be okay my maggi in my onions then my crayfish okay so as everything can simmer in very well so i put in the salt just a little you know my seasoning is there so there is salt in that seasoning adding the water so i'll be putting in my tribes you see that this is the reason why i allow the goat to boil for about 10 to 15 minutes before bringing my tribe inside because the goat is more stronger than the the tribe okay everything is just so perfect okay so we'll be checking on it in about 30 minutes time 20 to 25 minutes okay so guys as you can see the water is almost dry though so i'll just already be putting my dry fish after some few minutes then i will be Bring them out there. We'll start with the find of the, the soup. I'll bring it from my balcony because it's cold. Give it more five minutes then. So guys, as you can see, I'll be talking out the meat now. that the cooking can commence as you can see guys this is the vitamin it's boiling just to something to the cook it ok so I'll be switching it off I'll be going for the past 10 minutes it is ok ok guys as you can see our meat it's ready. This is the old meat, the goat meat, the dry fish, the towel, the tribes. Okay, so I've cleaned the pot again. Let the water dry down. The cooking will start. So I'll be scooping in some oil. Okay. 
This would have been done at my balcony, but the cold outside is just too much. It's unbearable, guys. Okay, guys. I'll put it in now. Onion. So allow it to fry for two seconds then the tomato. You have a spatula. Bring everything in. Okay? That's it. So as that is going on, so I'll be missing in my this to the consistency that I am aiming for. I hope you guys can see my this. I'm putting my water right away. You keep a close eye on it so I do not get burnt, right? We wouldn't want our goosey to get burnt. That is very, very vital, okay? Continue to stay consistently until it's wet to cook, eh? Little bit more water to be This consistency is okay. You see that? I think this is okay. Not too thick and not too light. You see that? Okay. So let's keep frying. Below the frame, totally, then start scooping in our pussy guys. Remember, at this time, you are going to lose your heat. Because, okay. So it will not get burnt. So we just lose our light to simmer for a while. Okay, guys, so let's check on our. We will see how it has been. See that? Okay. So we just need to set gently. Do not bother about this or yeah. everything will absorb better than you know that you will see it. You know it's a party food. You need to see a little bit of some oil on it. Okay. But very important. It must not burn. Okay. So I have to change it a little bit. Look at how beautiful my meat is. You see that? Wow, that's my name. Okay, so that is it, guys. There is a lot of sand on it. I risked more than 10 times to get rid of all the sand on them. Okay, you see that. So at this point, I was putting my vegetable to start softening up, okay? Okay, so I put in my leaves. Yes. 
see how beautiful it is. Let him man brought in. You are my this are the the crayfish and every other thing uh, I used to season this so, so I have to check if they see some meat inside to remove them. Stop them from cooking. Guys, as you can see, you see that I've brought it up from my kitchen so I can get what I'm trying. Okay. So to finish of this Ibusi, please don't forget to like, subscribe, put on your notification bell. So whenever I upload any video, you will be the first to be notified. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.